Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will talk about um, disk management um, in Windows 8. Uh, it resembles a lot of disk management that there was available in Windows um, XP and it's really improved in Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8. And um, so if you have a hard drive or several hard drives um, there is a way to actually change and work on the partitions of these hard drives right there in Windows. Uh, long gone are the days where you need a program like Partition Magic, for example, to uh, partition any drive. Uh, you don't use any of those programs anymore because Windows can do all of that and it's called disk management. So how do you go into disk management? Well, in Windows 8, you go into the bottom left corner, right click to have the menu, and there you have disk management right there. Disk management will show the information about all hard drives on your computer and all its partitions. So when you want to change or do something about a partition, you can actually right click or just click that partition and right click on it and there you'll see you have available um, all sorts of tools available for example if you'd like to partition your hard drive because you think the drives too big and want to have a separate partition for something else and you didn't do it before you installed Windows because of course you can uh, partition your hard drive before installing Windows but if you installed you think oh it's too late no it's not you can click on the main partitions for example here my main partition my C drive and right click on it and you see here I can shrink volume and it's gonna analyze the uh, disk space available and tell you well okay here's the info and here's the uh, amount maximum amount of size you can shrink so here it says, for example, I can shrink 311,266 uh, megabytes, roughly 300 gigabytes, um, and put it aside. So you enter the amount that you want here, and you just click shrink. And what's going to happen, you're going to see that your computer is going to work, and then it's going to change the mapping here. And instead of having a full drive, you'll see that your drive is going to shrink, and there's going to be something with a gray area that's going to say, well, you know, aren't partitioned or aren't used portion. And then you can right click on it and actually format the drive and, um, you know, put a drive letter to it. What's also cool about this is that you can actually change drive letter of a drive. So, for example, if you're used to a certain way that drives were working, you reinstall Windows and you notice that your hard drive, your second hard drive, instead of being uh, assigned the letter F that you're used to all the time, it's assigned the letter G or H. And you're thinking, well, I'd like to have F because that rings a bell and makes it easier for me to understand that it's the second partition. Well, you can right click on any partition and say, well, change drive letter and path. And that will actually change the drive letter. Be careful when you change drive letters because um, if you have programs and software and uh, files that are uh, installed on certain partitions with a drive letter, what happens is if you change the drive letter, uh, then Windows might actually uh, not be able to find the files that it needs to uh, make uh, a certain program work. Or if you've, uh, suppose you're listening to music in iTunes and it's in, uh, the second partition and um, the letters F, you change it to G, uh, then iTunes might say, wait, well, hey, I, I can't find the music anymore. It's not there where I'm used to having it. So be careful changing letters. Uh, usually you'll change a drive letter when the drive is unused because you know it doesn't have an effect. But if your drive has programs, uh, files, music, videos, I would say don't change the drive letter of any of those partitions that contain uh, lots of data because uh, you can cause some problems in Windows. 
So uh, lots of things you can do in drive management. That's where you will uh, actually uh, initialize, format, and uh, partition any new hard drive you might add to a system. It works also with external hard drives. And what's going to happen is that you'll see the external hard drives with um, different numbers, disk uh, 1, 2, 3, and etc. And uh, it's pretty cool because it's one of the best ways to uh, you know, just play around with your drives, partition, and um, use it to the max. Um, why do you want to partition a drive? Well, sometimes uh, some people are used to a certain way of working. Uh, you can have the main drives, the main C drive, having all of your system, but you can have, okay, I want to have a, a D drive where I have only music, and an E drive is going to have uh, movies and uh, F drive is going to have uh, applications and so on uh, so some people like to separate everything what's also cool about partitioning is that for example if all your data music videos documents are on a second partition well you can freely and easily reinstall windows on the main C drive by formatting the C drive and you know that all your important stuff is still there on the other partition which is untouched when you format the main drive so that's another cool reason to use uh, partitions so this uh, was a quick look at the uh, disk management in Windows 8 and um, great great way to uh, manage all of the new drives that you might add to your computer uh, be them internal, like in a desktop, you can have two, three, four hard drives. Uh, or external USB drives plugged into a laptop, for example. So um, all drives are available in the disk management section of Windows. If you enjoyed these videos, if you got that new Windows 8 machine, want to learn more, just click the subscribe button and you'll know when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have a request of an app, a feature you'd like to see uh, a video on, let us know because there's a big chance that if you want to see a feature of Windows 8, lots of people out there want to see a feature also. And uh, hey, take a look at our other videos that's going to help you learn and use more of Windows 8 and hope that you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.